So in today's video, we are talking about six reasons why actually paying an agent less money will mean less money in your pocket. I know what you're thinking. There's no way in hell. Uh-uh, how can that be? Well, then you'll definitely want to stick around. These are misconceptions and knowledge that really you need to educate yourself on so that you can make an intelligent and elegant decision going forward. So the first danger of paying an agent less is that you could be potentially hiring a desperate agent. If they are agreeing to cut their commission right off the bat, I think that is a warning sign because that's their only competitive advantage against somebody else because they need listings or they need the deal. They need to make money. They usually don't have systems in place to find buyers for your home. They just want to be listing agents, not even marketing agents. A good real estate agent selling your home is actually a marketing agent. And there's a difference between wanting your business and needing your business. Most of the time, a good real estate agent knows their worth and they'll just say, hey, you know, maybe I'm not the right agent for you. I'm not cutting my commission because I know my value and what I bring to the table. So someone that immediately agrees to that could be a very red flag for you. And do you really want to do business with somebody who is so desperate for your business? And also, if they're so quick to agree to a lower commission, what happens in negotiations when they get a buyer who doesn't want to pay full price? They'll just come to you and say, just agree to it, just agree to it, just sell the house. Sell the house at a lower price. They're not even going to negotiate on your behalf because they were so quick to accept a lower commission on their behalf. Danger number two is lack of motivation. If your property does not sell, what have you accomplished? You haven't reached your goals, you're frustrated, and you're probably kicking yourself for just not hiring the correct professional from the start. There is a very big difference between just listing a home and actually selling a home. Like I said, a lot of that difference goes into marketing, getting the right people through the door and networking with other buyers and brokers to bring buyers through that door. And what that agent didn't tell you is, hey, I'm going to make less money on this deal than selling this other house that I have also. So I'm not even excited to sell this house because I'm not even getting a full paycheck for it. So therefore, why should I put as much effort into it? I'm not going to try as hard. And you want an agent who is excited about bringing you offers. You want to pay them what they're worth. Danger number three when doing this is that lack of service. Get what you pay for. The age old saying, what you get is what you pay for. Well, if you're cutting an agent's commission, they're not gonna be excited about selling your home for you and they might cut their services as well. So you might end up having to actually do more the work on your own to sell your house. Like they might say, hmm, you're not giving me a full commission, so you get to be the one doing the showings and the open houses if you only want me to handle the paperwork. And that becomes a problem. There are, there are many factors that go into play when trying to find the correct buyer for your property. If you want to get top, 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 top dollar for your home, you need somebody who's going to provide you with as many services as possible. And danger number four is that their pay cut could mean your pay cut. More or less, there's less. How excited are you about a 15% pay cut? Are they really excited that they just agreed to taking your home for a pay cut? Probably not, probably not excited at all. And in their mind, they're saying, ah, I'm not getting paid full price for this one. So, you know, it takes a backseat priority. Not the price. To the rest of my listings where I am actually getting paid full price and these other clients value my services and expertise. Danger number five is that you're actually going to lose brokerages and agents from other buyer pools who are listing with a 1% broker. They're cheap. Rather than a full service agency, you're not offering a full percentage commission to that buyer's bridge, then there's a good chance that you're going to lose a lot of buyers. You lose, Doss. Because those agents are not free. I'm not free. If compensation is not taken care of by the seller, then those buyers actually have to come up with the money out of their pocket to pay their agent. And you could, they could very well be priced out on your home if they have to pay their agent on top of buying for the house, on top of the down payment, on top of inspections, appraisals, lenders fees, closing costs, your, your buyer pool gets very limited. And the other agent isn't gonna be excited about selling your home either. They'll be taking a pay cut. In order to get top dollar for your house, you need your agent to be excited about selling your house and you need 
that agent to get other agents excited about this house. As an agent, we have a fiduciary duty to you to do the right thing and to give you good service. And unfortunately, when you're not getting paid for the service you provide, your service is going to end up sucking. My name is Nicole Battle, and I'm a local real estate agent in Park City, Utah. Liked this video? Please check out more videos in my library. I am here to help you and serve you. And if you want to connect with me, my information is down below in the description box. Uh -huh.